welcome back to the show. Of course, uh, fall is a time for many things. New clothes come out, but it's also a time when people decide that they want to finally make some changes in their personal life and perhaps their approach Let's to face finding it. love. The sun goes away and people want to nest. Well, Cherie Morgan, <laughs> you've met her on our show before. She is a matchmaker and uh, she can help you out. She's having some seminars uh, where you can learn how to interact with the opposite sex. Or Hi, Cherie. How, how are you? Are you? Hi. All right. Happy is to this be back, by the way. Well, it's very nice to have you back because this really is a time of year when people, I mean, Fiona put it best, people want to nest. Is that true? You, you know what? You could just start your clock by it because the second that weather turned, and that was a couple of weeks ago, we, the first day, immediately I got phone calls. Chill. Yes. <laughs> it was like two days. We had it all of a sudden chilled. It went back to being sunny, but that was two days. Immediately people were calling me. They were sending me emails. I guess they went through the summer and went, oh, I didn't do so well by myself. So, okay, maybe I'll call her. But I thought I'd true. meet those summertime. girls at the beach. Well, That's summertime right. is a time for socializing, whether it be uh, with friends, but it's more of, I, I think, a frivolous time for a lot of people. But then when the rain comes down, you realize, oh, wow, I want to stay home and watch movies. That's I don't right. want to do yeah. that alone. Exactly. And they don't want to do it alone. They want somebody else. You know, it's nice to sit by a fireplace but not by yourself yes okay. now when people it can be uh, sad we've talked we talked about this the last time that you were mm -hmm. here that people always have trouble it seems especially in Vancouver with approaching the opposite sex when they do see someone that they're interested in and actually breaking the ice so what is your advice for people when they do see someone that they'd like to get to know more well, that's exactly, I, I mentioned that I had, I'm starting these workshops, it's called Socializing in the City. I named it that way because yes, okay, it, it's sort of a spin-off on Sex in the City, but you have to start somewhere. Right. If, if you can't socialize, you're not going to get the Sex right. in the City, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and yeah, that's not the idea, it's just to get that. I mean, the idea is to get to establish a relationship. Right? Yeah. But you have to be able to socialize. And I watch people. And so all summer, I watched people out on the beach and on the on the seawall and wherever I was. And a lot of people out there, a lot of people active, but not a lot of people again making that initial connection. You know, if they so go out with somebody, so you'll see them notice someone and know that they're they intrigued by them. But they do nothing about it. But they won't approach them. Absolutely nothing about it. So that's what I, I started the workshops because I actually had guys say to me, "Well, I, I don't know How? what to say to women. Yeah. You know, uh, they're unapproachable." How about hello? Well, there's a start. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> smile. That ain't gonna get a girl. Am I old fashioned? But <laughs> no. people seem really shy, they whether do. it be to smile at a stranger or say hi to a stranger, just because for some reason we think that's socially awkward, but it's yes. it's actually very nice. It's very nice. Women want you. Okay, as as a woman speaking to a man. Thank you. They want feel, you, baby. Oh, did I just get taller? I certainly feel like. Well, it. you're looking but pretty this snappy. Is, thank you, but this is. I mean, this is one of those keys. There must be some really interesting things that you learn when you're doing these seminars about the way that men perceive women and what yes. they want. Yeah. Uh, what is sort of one of the common misconceptions that men have about women? Is it just that, you know, they just want you to say hi? We do want you to, we, we want them to talk to us, right? You want the man to make oh, the first sure. move. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. The most attractive thing that women look for in men, and it's not because he's a bad boy, it's not, but bad boys have this in common, is confidence. Mm -hmm is that the guy feels comfortable in his own skin, he looks you in the eye, he can smile at you, and if you're interested at all, you'll smile back. What you do m must be so interesting on a lot of different levels, but it, it must be very, um, well, fascinating to see the misconceptions that men have about women and that women have about men. What's a common one uh, that guys have about girls and what they want? Well, that women are unapproachable or that we don't want to be approached. We do want to be approached. You want a guy to come and, and, and oh, approach yeah. you and smile at you. And, and the biggest thing that men don't know is uh, men think that all women want a bad boy. We don't want a bad boy, but the bad boy has something that the rest of the guys don't cojones. have. The nice guys. <laughs> <laughs> they have, exactly, cojones. It's yeah. called confidence. It's that comfort in his own skin. Can you now, what that? is the misconception that women have about men if, if men think women are unapproachable? What's the equivalent uh, about the women that you, you talk to? Uh, I d you know what? I don't know. Women are actually pretty in tune to a lot of a lot of men. <laughs> Honestly, I'm sorry. I didn't mean <laughs> to slam. Shall we ask <laughs> the I boy? I didn't mean to slam. Uh, women, you know what I find what do you think? that women do sometimes that that makes it more intimidating is they tend to group uh, when they go out. Like the girls uh, hang okay, with their so friends the and they go as a pack, and that can be really tough as a guy to 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 be the lone wolf and kind of go in and try and break that pack up. That's okay. a really tough thing to do. So what if the woman in the pack turns around and smiles at you? All good. 
All good? What, yeah. does, that, does that give you a welcome at? Well, yeah. So then there, like then there's six women you can talk to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And it's, it's literally as simple as that. If there's a guy that you're interested in, to the woman, to the woman turn around and acknowledge the guy. You know, right. look at so him and just smile. So what should the fellas do after the smile and the hello? Because some guys get really stumped at that point. I'm not, I'm not making fun. It's just like they don't yeah. know what to do. It's like, you know, you see somebody once, you want to ask them out. Is it inappropriate to ask for their number? What, what should they do well, once they've broken the ice? Place. Yeah. Right. Hello is Step a great one, place. Step one, hello. Yes. What, what should they do if they're well, interested? I mean, where are you? Are you on the seawall? If you're in a, a coffee just shop somewhere or something, out in talk about wherever you are. Yeah. T bring up something about you know the activity. For example, if you're in the coffee shop, you're standing in a lineup. What do you think of this? Have you tried this? I mean, it's pretty easy to to uh, think off the top of your head. Nice. Try not to go blah 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 blah. Right. <laughs> Have you seen the size of these melons? If you're in the grocery store, that always works. <laughs> it doesn't really help. <laughs> that doesn't help. So when you're doing the seminars, uh, you you've done something really interesting. Uh, you break them up. Uh, so the boys are with you by themselves, they're just guys, yeah. and the girls are with you by themselves, they're just girls. That's right. Uh, why did you choose to do that? Just to take some of the intimidation out? That's exactly it. I want the men to be comfortable so they can interact with me. They can ask me questions that they won't ask if there's a woman in there because men want the women to think that they know it all. They right. Don't. Yeah. yeah. And actually, we know they don't. Right. Don't ask for directions <laughs> if you're lost. That would be ridiculous. But it, it's just a comfort zone. And it's also for, I also have the women separately because obviously if I can't have them with the, the men, they have to be by themselves. But the women also like the opportunity to have a little one-on-one -on -one time without the men in there. You yeah. know, uh, and it just makes it more comfortable all the way around. The end result is after I do both the workshops, then uh, also through blends I'm going to have events where they can come in so single so they can actually come in and try their skills afterwards right? <laughs> really you know it's like a practice field I mean in a way it is, it is. but it it's is. great having that in a coffee shop as well because it takes out that bar environment it just puts it somewhere that you know conversation is yeah. what you're there for well the reason that, that I thought of, thought about going this way and going in this way with the workshops besides the men who were asking me for help was I kept looking at why why don't we socialize here what's the problem why do they socialize so well in Europe well they socialize in the pubs mm -hmm. everybody has a pub on every corner in England right? Yeah. but we don't have to get liquored up in order to do it we have a coffee shop on every corner right? yeah so I thought why not partner sh partner with a coffee shop and teach them how to do it in the coffee shop in a Vancouver style that's great yes. I love absolutely. it absolutely well Sheree thank you so much and if you want more advice uh, from Sheree or if you'd like to find out more information about the seminars that are happening and sign yourself up you can certainly do so by going to her website still think the melons was perfectly acceptable we're gonna take a break yeah. and when we come back Ned Bell will be joining us <laughs> TV host you on course, that one Sheree a very well-known chef and owner of Cabana Bar and Grill uh, we'll You're be right blushing. back with him after that you realize as I should be you, you trust the line. Line. I know.